Uh, tell us, uh, what, what's the uh, Irish slang that you would use to describe this? Um, Regale us with some Gaelic. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> Is that it? Yeah. I told you about that guy in Ireland, right? Did I ever tell you about that guy? What kind of guy are we talking about? I, probably, I think I told a story before. I'm not sure. Start it, and if you've told it before, I will violently and angrily cut you off. Oh, uh, shit. My, my friend in Ireland brought over a drug dealer friend of his that sucked. He was the biggest dumbass I ever met in my life. But uh, he talked like, Oh, yeah, hold on. But uh, <laughs> he brought him over and... Uh, it sounded like he was chewing on his tongue. <laughs> this was right right when I was first starting getting interested in like game design and like looking into all this stuff and buying books and blah, 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 blah. And obviously, look, I'm not a fucking genius or master game design. I just, I am interested in it. Sorry for bringing it up. It's okay. Anyway, so this guy came over and he's like, Oh, yeah, man, I'm, br I'm bringing my friend over. He's like really into this stuff, too. You guys are gonna love each other. I was like, okay. And he brought him over. And he's like, okay, okay, got, now to tell him your idea. And he's just like, Okay, so it's, it's like Skyrim, <laughs> but with Pokemon. <laughs> 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 it's just like, yeah. It's like, I'm sure that'll blow over. You get a whole nobody playing that. No, and he literally said, like, Yeah, I've been sending letters to Nintendo and Bethesda about the idea, but they haven't responded to me yet. It's just like, <laughs> it's like, probably because you're like some like tinker from, <laughs> from the boonies. <laughs> but I was like, okay, I'm going back to my room now. <laughs> Uh, this, is, this is total nonsense. There was a guy in my class in school, I don't know why I remember this, but he said... The guy who voices Mario lives in the pink house like a <laughs> He said it like that. Why? Why? What's the pink... Know. What's the pink... What? He, he said he lived in a pink house like a <laughs> Was that, like, true or...? I don't know. Not the second part, but like the, the initial cl Why? I don't know. I don't know why you'd even retain that information. Is this just something I'd get angry about it. <laughs> I, I don't know. Did I ever tell you that when I was, uh, 16 or 15, I used to go over to my friend's house and drop water on people for fun? From great heights? Yeah, because he used to live in an apartment that was up really high. And, uh, a few times- or it started off small where we'd have a glass of water and we'd drop it on drunk people on a Saturday night, and they would never want to deal with it because it's just too much effort after getting drunk they just want to go home. Yeah. But um, it started off with a, a little glass of water, then it, then it went on to uh, a little jug, then it went on to a, a big ass foot basin, and then we, <laughs> then we filled up a bin liner. I'm oh surprised that you went to that much effort. Oh my god. We filled up a bin liner until the, to the point where it wouldn't explode and we drop it onto the road and it would just explode into a huge like <laughs> mushroom cloud of water. At least it's just water. Yeah, but there was one night when, when there was a bunch of uh, girls and they were all dressed in pink and wearing like rabbit ears oh and being really loud and stupid. And then we, we got the basin, <laughs> and we, like, I feel bad, but we dropped it, like, I was 16, everyone's a shithead when they're 16, don't, don't, don't be Don't make mad. excuses, yeah, just, just continue tell the story. The story. But uh, we dropped, <laughs> we dropped a full basin of water onto this group oh of girls, God. and one of them was, one of them went to start crying. Oh my God. But, it, like, her friend was like, Ah, oh, Sabrina, are you alright? And then she went, Me fucking phone's broken. <laughs> it was fucking funny. Was it really? Did you have to pay for it? No, they didn't do it. They didn't. <laughs> they just went home. Okay. Chris, they're gonna find you now. <laughs> That's true, yeah. It was 16. They're gonna sue you for all your worth. They're gonna know that wasn't natural rain. <laughs> <laughs> One time a guy stood right under the balcony and we, we dunked a whole basin on him. <sighs> and then we went inside to hide and when we came back out, he was still standing there so we dropped more on him. <laughs> <laughs> he went home then. Chris. <laughs> oh, anyway. I used to make my Jesus. bully- I used to always make my bully laugh because he chased me around the school because it was funny, and then when he'd catch up with me, i go, I don't have any lunch money! And then he'd like- he'd start laughing because I was just being lame and on purpose. Wait, really? Yeah. Did you ever talk about the time when you were in Wexford and uh, a guy put his bottle on the street? Dude. Fucking hell, yeah, yeah. I was at nighttime and Chris was like, Niall, can you go to Abracababra for me, uh, which is a, a place where you get kebabs? And I was like, okay. And then I went in there, and then I came back out, and there was p loads of drunk people everywhere. And someone- I didn't know until after that this is a game that they play, but like, I- I walked- I walked past this group of dudes, and uh, there was a bottle, like a coke bottle, like placed upward, or a water bottle, and I accidentally kicked it because it was nighttime. 
And uh, then they fucking chased me. And they ran me- they, I, I, they, like, I ran and they chased me all the way into like a fucking restaurant. <laughs> yeah. And I told Chris about it, he's like, Oh yeah, they're playing, uh, kick the bottle. Hi, this is the game they play in Rexford, they, they beat the shit out of you if you kick their bottle. It's not just the game, I'm- I would be scared of that too. <laughs> It was just so casual though, you're like, oh yeah, yeah, that's just the thing they do. Oh, it, no, it's because I was used to it. Yeah, I wasn't. <laughs> you never kicked the bottle, Nile. What was your school principal like? Um, he was a Okay, so my my primary school principal was was very nice, but... And that means, uh, when, like, not high school, the school before that. Um, he was really nice, but he used to talk to his bananas and cups of coffee. <laughs> what? Yeah, he used to be like... <laughs> Like, you're a good little banana, aren't you? No. No, he did, I swear to you're God. making that up. I swear to God. He he, he, he go, mmm, a cup of tea. <laughs> and he'd like drink it, and they, he'd walk around school and go, mmm, my little banana friend. <laughs> it was really fucking weird. That can't be real. I swear. You would just look I right swear. at his banana and go, you're a good little no, no, banana. No, <laughs> I swear. What? I swear to no. God. No. I swear to God. He was very nice, though, and then my, my secondary school teacher was a fucking cunt. Yeah. He was an asshole. So was mine. I'm Miss Phillips, and it is my we called him Patsy. <laughs> Our one was called McFodgene. <laughs> McFodgene. Yeah. Patsy and was just this fucking incompetent asshole who did not know how to handle boys. Was it a guy? Yeah. But Hello. speaking of frog chins, I used to know this guy called Andy. And he had- he was this guy and he- like he- he walked around and he had like so, the biggest chin. Okay, this doesn't matter. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, gonna, uh, I, I like I t see. I can't describe it. No, I, I just realized I can't like visualize his chin. That slow realization that that story was going nowhere yeah, was no, worth it. Like his chin went from <laughs> his chin went from where a normal chin goes, but it went all the way down to his tits, and he used to walk around. I think I think he's dead now though, so I feel bad speaking. Did you imagine this okay. guy? Does this sound real? No, he's real. I, one of my friends once so uh, stole a pair of his friend's oh, panties, really? and s it was like I have something oh, to show you. Sent me into his room and showed me this fucking gross ass snail trailed panties. That's disgusting. It's shut up. I want to hear Gary Oak. <laughs> oh man, one of my favorite one of my teachers, he was this Oh, what the fuck? He basically looked like a big long stick man and he was like Sorry. What, he was he taught me three subjects, so I had him for twelve classes a week nope. and uh he, he really stank and uh people have these really old cell cell phone videos. Yeah. Of me like uh, when he was bending over, I was just like pretending to fuck his ass. <laughs> and I Every kid has those! And I uploaded them online because I had a website back then. <laughs> And his password protected, and I got caught. You fucker. Every <laughs> kid has those videos of them pretending to fuck the teacher from behind. <laughs> was like funniest. slapping his ass. <laughs> <laughs> Did you put his name in there? Is that how you fucking got caught? No, someone told him. I was gonna say, one of my worst teachers was my biz my first business teacher. Uh, in business, you have to learn how to do a profit and loss trading account sheet. Do you remember that? I didn't do business. Okay, well, it was fucking forced on me for some reason. But anyway, uh, he made us... Or he didn't even teach us. He just brought us in and said, okay, here you go, get to it. And uh, he was expecting people to be like, uh, oh, no. like, just do it off their heads. It's like, sir, we don't know how the fuck to do this. So everyone else went home and learned how to do it off the internet, except for me. I was just like, no, I'm not doing it. <laughs> so I, for fucking three years, I didn't know how to do it. And that's all we did in British, cl in, in British class, in business class, was sit down and do those over and over and over. And all I did was draw on pieces of paper and slip them into his pocket with my friend. What? <laughs> and he just didn't care. One time, I, I did, did I ever tell you about the little, uh, the little thing I got in Las Vegas? It's a little slot machine, you pull on the lever and you get a shock. No? I, I did that to him. Why, he, what? Oh, one of those slot machines, those toy little ones you yeah. put in your pocket? Yeah, yeah, yeah. He I fell on the those. floor and he went, oh! And then he got really mad, but he didn't care. He was he was too much of a pussy to, like, enforce discipline. <laughs> so he didn't teach you anything, but he also didn't get mad at you for doing anything. So it was kind of like... I was legitimately fun. like the Bart Simpson of the class. Like, my te that, that same teacher, the long guy, yeah. he would turn around and I'd throw, like, a wet t t tissue at him. And I threw it at the whiteboard and it just go like... <laughs> <laughs> Every time we turn around, we'll just stick to it, and he got- he, everyone knew it was me, like, he knew it was me, because I'm the only one who would do that. Mm. But then in parent-teacher meeting, he's like, to my mom, he's like, Twelve classes. I have Nile. Twelve classes a week. It is a fucking nightmare. <laughs> <laughs> Nile, you're an asshole. You're a monster. Yeah, I, I was a cunt. Wait, is he peeing into the sink? <laughs> that's, what, <laughs> that's what it looks like. I never did that, Nile. That's, that's what every man do. should do. Yeah, exactly. I know. It is actually good. Did you ever shit? <laughs> <laughs> you ever just pick your shit and shove it down the sink? No, but I know someone who shat in the shower. You were- <laughs> Shut up! Did I ever tell you about that time me and Jack O'Carroll were walking down, uh, Wexford? No, you, you know where the Wexford Creamery is? Yeah, 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 yeah. We were walking on this big-ass busy street near there, and, uh, we came across these ducks, and we were- we were recording it. We were like, look at all the little baby ducks! And then, uh, 
Uh, we, we, we noticed no. that they were all starting to run onto the road. And no. We were, and we were all like, oh, no. So we started trying to gather them up. So Jack was like, you go this way, and I'll go this way. And we're just, like, trying to gather these little baby ducks. And I, I, I got my side, and I put them all back onto the, the safety of the sidewalk. Onto the road. And I was like, wow, I did it. I did something good. I just heard Jack go, Chris! <laughs> and we, no! And I look over, and there's just this, like, red spot on the road <laughs> with a little tiny duck foot sticking out of it. Oh, my fucking felt, God. Felt, like, evaporated? I felt so bad. My friend has this cat where he uh he told me I don't don't know why he told me. I think he was drunk. And he told me that he lifted up the cat's tail once. And uh Yeah. He said he He said he like thought it was funny so he fingered the cat. <laughs> and uh what? he said that when he when he took his finger out of it, the smell was the <coughs> worst smell that he's ever smelled. What? Okay, wait, wait, wait. So first off, how old was this guy? Oh no, no, no! He was only a kid when when this happened. Okay. Yeah, no, he was he was like a little kid, and he stole his parents' beer. If I remember correctly, I think he was like twelve, <laughs> and he and then he just thought it was funny to finger his cat. That's old enough to not finger I know, a cat. I, I'm not I'm not disputing that. He just told me that he did. <laughs> I was I was expecting he was five years old. That's what a five year old would do. No, he was he was like twelve. <laughs> Tell us more about your friends in uh, Ireland. What what about him? Uh, I just want to hear you do more impressions. Oh god damn it. I stopped being friends with them when I moved to LA. <laughs> did you spit in their eye? <laughs> yeah, I hate them all now that I'm in LA. You're a Californian. I have become a shithead. <laughs> Whoa. Fuck you. I miss all my Irish friends. They're all dead. Who are your friends? Chance. Chris. See? There was uh, Big Bernie. Lamy. Uh, Paul. Johnny. Harry Henry. Kevin. Terry. Where's the guy? It's Ooh. Martin. Sean. Itchy Ishmael. Oh, this is not gonna work out. Stinky. Flip I was about to say Stinky Pete. <laughs> Bloinkus. Poinkus. And Twonkus. And his sister Schmuckus. <laughs> I like schmuckus. <laughs> schmuckus with the big tucks. Yeah? If you were on an airplane back to Ireland... Like that? ...and it started spinning out of control... <laughs> you were laughing at yourself when you recorded that, too. Was I? Yeah, yeah he, she was laughing. <laughs> <laughs> That's because it was me and my friends all in my bedroom. Yeah, that. it was probably a fun time. It was probably very hot in there, right? No, it was Real cold. sweaty, No, they, they lived in Ireland. Oh, that's true. It was me, they Terry don't have O'Brien, the in Paul O'Brien... Hero Brian? Sean Kiley. <laughs> I don't know if I ever told the story of my friend Sean Kiley when uh, we were. He, he was a new student in my school at the time. This was his first year of like in my school. Uh huh. And he came in and like in the middle of high school essentially. So we were like 16 meeting each other. But he came in and we were doing uh, <laughs> we were doing transition year, uh -huh. which means it's a year off and you don't really have to do much except come into school and just like. Like, just chill. Like, it was just a year off, yeah. but you still have to go to school and do bullshit. But we had art class, and we were all given uh, big wooden boards to lean on for the for the paper and shit. Uh -huh. And he just drew this massive, veiny, hairy cock on it with a huge permanent marker. <laughs> it oh, was like no. It was like super thick outlines. There's no way he'd be able to, like, cross it out or, like, rub it out or anything. He just drew this fucking gigantic cock on it and, and everyone was laughing at it because it was so funny looking i would be funny especially in permanent marker but, but yeah, i don't know what he was expecting because we all left the class he flipped the board over so the teacher wouldn't see right yeah. until it was too late but then we were all in were like you there when the teacher saw no okay no we were all in our like hub classroom where we have to go and sit and eat lunch or whatever sure. and the big tall scary teacher walked in who, who taught irish and he was pretty much the disciplinary teacher because he was like old and scary. Yeah. And he walked in and he was like, So we have a bunch of artists here, do we? And we were just like, Yes, sir. He's like, So I'm going to be like, like I'm going to be, I'm going to be calling. <laughs> he, you thought he was complimenting you? <laughs> no, no, yeah, exactly. He's like, I'm going to be calling you all out individually and we're going to be lining you up outside and I'm going to ask you one by one who did it and you know what it is. And we were just like, Oh, 
fuck. <laughs> so, like, every single person was getting lined up, and the first person he picked was Sean. Uh, so, Sean just went in and, like, instantly caved. He's like, yeah, I did it. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm really sorry. And he got sent home, and he got a, discipl a disciplinary. And the, the, he, he literally had to tell his mom and dad in school what he did. Golly. They brought his mom and dad in, and they were just like, go on, Sean, tell him. It's like, I, I drew this big, massive penis on, <laughs> on the board. <laughs> <laughs> Did he draw it well, or was it like it was funny? It average, was, like just kind of like oh, they it don't was know a how to big draw a dick. nasty cock. Like it was, it was not pleasant, but it was really funny because Sean's like art looks funny. It's just silly. Yeah. So it looked like a big deformed cock, but it was great. Do you want to hear something like when I was in school? Yeah. What happened? I went to okay. So I went on holiday with my parents. We went to Las Vegas when I was like twelve. Mm -hmm. And uh, I bought a tiny uh, little gift shop thing where it's a little slot machine that when you pull back on the thing, oh, it shocks you. Oh. Right? I brought yeah. it home. Oh, I think you told this one before. Well, go on, go on. I, I don't so. remember it. But uh, I went into school and I, I got my business teacher to pull it. He pulled it and he fell on the ground. And he looked up at me really angry and red-faced and he threw it back at me and he didn't say anything and he walked away. And then I did it to my, uh, I think she was my business teacher. But she was teaching me religion at the time, but anyway, she, she, uh... She fucking... She did it, and then she laughed super hard, and then instantly she stopped laughing, and she was like... You're- you've got detention for a week. You- you're in big trouble. I'm taking this. And it was right after she was laughing hysterically, so it scared the shit out of me. And then, uh, I asked her, could I have it back at the end of the day, and she said, okay. Did he get in trouble for throwing it at you? No. I shocked the teacher. Oh, I should true. have been in trouble. That's true, you did shock a teacher. I don't know why he didn't... It can't be like an actual electrical Yeah, shock, that's what... Right? It wasn't an actual electrical Like, it's shock. one of those things yeah. that just I thought like it was buzzes. like a little minor thing. Like a no, little buzz. No, it, it fucking hurt, and I oh. didn't... It was... No, every, everyone I did it to was like, Fucking hell, that's bad. I did it to my grandpa, and he was like, Hmm, <laughs> And, but that was because he used to grab electric fences yeah, to climb over them. Yeah, he used to being electrocuted. Yeah. No, it's true. He really was. He, he, he welcomes over. the sweet embrace of death. My grandpa's hands were like fucking hobbit feet. He grabbed it and just and never he... let go and said, Yes, thank you, Christopher. <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, yeah, so that teacher fell on his ass and he was fucking pissed. I, I told you about the teacher who said I threw a nail in her eyeball, right? <laughs> I did tell you that, didn't I? Christopher threw it in a straight arc and it went directly into my eye. I must have told you that story, no? I don't know, you didn't tell us no. that. One. Oh, well, okay. One time, uh, I was- Is that what she said? She caught it in her eye? No, it was- it was the most bizarre thing. I think this teacher got fired shortly after, because she was just a crazy bitch, but... Um, she was my art teacher in, uh, St. Peter's. And, uh... She was this big stupid bitch. It was the end of the day. Last class was art. I stood up. Put my chair on my table like I was supposed to, put my bag on my back, said n not a word, staring into space, but suddenly this big monstrously fat bitch turns around, looks me in the eye, slaps herself in the eyeball, keeps her hand on her face, points at me and says, You threw a nail in my eye! And I was like, What? And she's like, You! Detention! And I was like, what the fuck are you talking about? She was like, You threw a nail in my eye! And I was like, No, I didn't! What are you talking about? I was just standing here! She's like, Detention! And I was like, Okay. And then uh, I walked outside, and my mom was parked there, and I, I got into the car, just completely dumbfounded, and she's like, What's your problem? Like, I just got detention, and my mom goes, Oh, for fuck's sake, Chris! What the fuck did you do this time? Like, I didn't do anything! The teacher said I threw a nail in her eyeball and I don't know what the fuck she's talking about. My mom's like, oh, sh would you ever shut the fuck up? And I'm like, what? I didn't do anything. And I'm like, mom, I swear to God, I didn't do anything. She just said I threw a nail in her eyeball. What sense does that make? I didn't even have a nail to begin with. My mom's like, so if I go in and talk to her, you're telling me she's, she's, she's like lying. I'm like, yes. My mom's like, for fuck's sake. She gets out of the car, slams the door. She's really pissed off at me. Walks inside, and I'm just waiting in the car for 10 minutes. Then my mom comes back out, sits down dumbfounded. She's like, she's a fucking crazy bitch. I'm like, thank you. <laughs> and then it turns out she just didn't even mark me down for detention. She just forgot. She, okay. was, she was just crazy. That's the worst, like, lie you could come up with, She too. was just crazy. I don't know what the fuck her problem was. She got, she got fired after we went on school tour. I think the last thing I ever said to her was, I like your stupid sunglasses. <laughs>
<laughs> Detention! Did I ever tell you about the guy in my school who, who was like... <laughs> well, that's the story. It's like... Uh, oh. He was considered the dumbest guy in school and everyone made fun of him all the time. And then one day the teacher came in, she was like... We're, we're, we're doing... Oh, fuck. We're, we're doing uh, the school magazine. Everybody write an article. And, uh, well, if you want. And then he was like, I want to write an article. And everyone was like, oh, what's he gonna write about? This should be funny. And he was just like... <laughs> his article was just... Hello, my name is blank. And I like shooting crows on my spare time. Shoot crows. <laughs> he was like really, really like countryside Irish. He was just like, there's nothing better than just unloading a shotgun on an unsuspecting crow. Goodness gracious. But sometimes I imagine if it was my parents. <laughs> it was really funny. Perhaps all of my classmates. <laughs> Were all the kids laughing? Yeah, everyone was like, why the fuck did you write about this idiot? And he's like, I thought it'd be good. I thought it'd be good. <laughs> Thought it'd be fucking good. Did I ever tell you about the time I, I I stole the first ten minutes of the Mario movie and wrote it as an essay in school? What? <laughs> Did I ever tell you? About Did you that? get an A I, plus? No, tell like how? Oh, I was in I was in like primary school, so I was like eleven. But the teacher's like, write a, a fictional essay, and I just wrote down the first ten minutes of the Mario movie. Jesus, how did it end? It didn't. <laughs> I got as far as the baby hatching. <laughs> oh no, I got as far as I wrote down like, it's raining, a woman runs through the rain, <laughs> it's that kind of shit. Chris, did you ever <gasps> forge money? No. I forged a fake ID when I was very young. Oh, did you God. really? Yeah. Wait, you forged it or you got one? I forged one, but it was, um, it was for my sister. But you said it was for you. No, it was, um, I said I forged a fake ID. But you, you're confessing to a crime, Chris. I know, but I was like 12, so you it doesn't said you, count. You said you did it for you. The police are coming. And it said McLovin, because The you police said that was already got involved joke. with it. Oh, did they? Yeah. They arrested your sister? No, what happened was, um... <laughs> did you do it just to get her in trouble? <laughs> no! This is the you story! You framed your sister? No! <laughs> hey, wait are not listening! What happened was, uh, my sister's friend was like, oh, I'll make a fake ID, I'm Quirkle, and then he fucking made a really <laughs> shitty one. And uh, everyone and my sister's friend group were like, this sucks, you fucking idiot loser. And then my sister came to me because she knew I was good on a computer. And she's like, can you make us fake IDs? And I was like, I'll make you a fake ID or two. What do you do? You just fucking... I went and photo... Because Irish IDs look fucking awful. You literally They're... just photoshopped, scanned in an ID and yeah. changed the name. I did, yeah. And I did it for her. And um, it was so good that she fucking lost it. And then the police somehow found it on the street, and she got called up, and she was like, Oh my god, oh my god, I'm so, I'm so dead, and blah, blah. and like... Well, maybe she, she shouldn't have lost it, hmm? Yeah, yeah, I know, right? And then, and then, so the police called her up, and they're like, We need you to come in. And then the, she went in with my dad, and they were like, Is this your ID? And she was like, ah, ah, And she started crying, and they're like, What the fuck is wrong with you? And they, they thought it was real. So she just like admitted... Oh, so she outed herself. Yeah, she outed yeah. herself. And then that's that story. So in the end, I was so good. And then they put her away forever. They put her away. She still <laughs> rocks to this day. Fingless. What does that mean? It's a place in Dublin. Is it really? It's where horses roam the streets. That sounds pretty fun. It's not. That sounds pretty fun. <laughs> it's really scary. I like that there's that one island because a bunch of people just drop pigs in the water and it's just an island filled with pigs and they like to go swimming. <laughs> One of my good friends lives in Fingless, and every time I visited them, there was fucking weird shit going on outside. The horses would fly sometimes. There was horses in the street, there was shady characters at each corner. There was, uh, upright pianos lying on front lawns. Golly. There was, was like that. wacky land. The, the taxi driver said, Never fucking walked out here by yourself, and I was like, okay. Okay. I said, okay, yeah, okay, said, Mr. Frodo. Look at that, and point out the window, and you saw yourself walking down the street by yourself. <laughs> I said, but I'm in here. How can I be out there, too? <laughs> no, you're not. <laughs> and you're just on the street. And he looked at me and said, no this is the tale of the scary taxi driver incident. <laughs> where you were inside of it and outside of it. And you go, oh, no. <laughs> oh, Jesus. <laughs> oh, Jesus. <laughs> How was I outside and inside? <laughs> it was astral projection, you fucking retard. <laughs> <laughs> What was it that you were saying? Have you never asked they, for a projection before? <laughs> you were telling your friend that you had like a chicken inside of you or something? You yeah, went, well, no, I was like, what, six? What did he say? He just went, oh. oh no, no, I used to know this guy called Terry, and he's the loveliest man. And, but when he was a little boy, he was really, really gullible, and no matter what you said, he'd believe it. So you'd be like, Terry, 
I, there's a chicken in my tummy and he'd be like is there <laughs> really <laughs> it was really funny <laughs> I just like the way he said it yeah is there is there really he's he's from Dublin if you guys ever visit Ireland <laughs> you have to learn all the different accents there's what how many there's fucker all I really know Tucker and sucker <laughs> there's the Dublin one where's like I even fucking Dublin there's the D4 one, which is Posh Dublin. I can't do that one at all, so I'm not gonna try it. There's oh, Wexford. There's Wexford, where I'm from, where it's like, Oh, you from fucking Wexford. Oh, fuck okay, you. Okay, so it's all the same. It's just you do a, a different pitch to your voice. <laughs> Slightly. No, the, the, the Cork one is actually different. It's like, Oh, you from Cork. That's just the pitch oh, again. Nah, 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 nah. Fuck you, you're right. Slightly. <laughs> and then there's the smelly accent. And how does that go? Hello, I'm Spilly. <laughs> <laughs> I knew a man who had an ostrich farm in Waxford, and his name was Patty Hall. And did he weigh the eggs for you? He had a pet fox he kept in the tiny cage, and the fox was crushed inside of it. Oh, no. <laughs> That's tragic. That's not a fun story. <laughs> well, yeah. <laughs> you're right. <laughs> it's, it's funny if you think about if you're a tiny child like I was, because that guy's probably. It's funny if you think about it if it was a cartoon. <laughs> I remember when I was younger, I was in my house and I was very, very young, and, I, and my mom and dad's friend brought over this tiny girl who was like, "Have you seen Bertrand the Magnificent?" And I was like, "No," and she's like, "It's really good." <laughs> it's n it's not. <laughs> I know. That poor small child. <laughs> she broke a bunch of my shit. <laughs> Because, because you didn't like the movie. I didn't. I've he never said, heard Bartok of it. Bartok told me to. Bartok. <laughs> <laughs> there was a scene in the movie. Yeah. Is that what she sounded like, Chris? God, what was their names? There was two little sisters, and they were fucking insane. I can't remember their names. S Helga and Smelda. They were super Irish names. I fucking can't remember at all. Magnifica and the Borg. Irito. <laughs> Irito. <laughs> And Irishy. <laughs> Irishia. <laughs> Did you want to ever tell you about the London mishap? No, tell me. Wendy. Um, Did you poison all of London or something? No. It was that a you're New talking Grand's about London vomiting? Meet. It was a New oh, Grand's London meet. Uh huh. Um, how old was I? I think I was. Was 19. David Firth there? He was not. No, I was. Okay, I was 19. Um, I went to New uh, New Grand's London Meath with some of my friends from Ireland, right? So we went to a, a bar where everyone was like drinking and shit, right? Uh -huh. And I was supposed to eat and line my stomach, and I just didn't do it. Uh. So they all was, were like, we're gonna get pizza. I'm like, I don't want pizza. And I just went into the bar, and I drank... I think I drank eight pints of... Uh, and you said, give me everything. <laughs> no, I was like, I drank eight pints of Bulmers, and I was like... <laughs> and, and they were like, we, we need to get Chris home. I was like, <laughs> and then they put me into a, a taxi cab, right? Second I get into it, I stick my head out the window and go, <laughs> <laughs> Oh no. And, like, and the car was driving, so it made like a rainbow of puke. You... And it spread over the side of the car because it was driving. I imagine you poked your head out and there's a car behind you and they look at you. And you just smile at them and no. vomit all over them? <laughs> no, I was, with, I was with my friends and Harry Partridge and his girlfriend were there and they were like, Oh god. And then the guy was like, GET THE FUCK OUT OF MY CAR! So we got out of the car, right? And then this other taxi pulled up because they, they hailed it and I was just like standing at the side of the road and I was like... <laughs> and they were like, can, can you bring our friend home? And they're like, no. He's too drunk. They're like, please, 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 sir. It's like 4 a.m. and we don't know how to get back. And he's like, okay, fine. And they, they like gave me like a, a, a like a bag to puke in in case I needed to. And so my friend Jack and Sean walked back to the hotel, and my friend brought me back to the hotel. Right. So they're walking through London at like 4 a.m. They, they see like they see a man in the middle of the street uh, and a woman, and they walk up closer to them. And it turns out his finger is up her arse. <laughs> and then he turns around. To Did them. you just say arse? Arse. That's how they would say. You didn't say arse. That's how they explained it. The guy turns around. And he goes. <laughs> he smells his finger. No. He does. He smells his that finger. That didn't happen, really. And then, and then Sean and Jack were like, ah, and they like run. They like run really <laughs> fast. And they walk into the hotel, right? And uh, my friend was on the bed, and they were like, "Where's Chris?" And and he was like. He's in the bathroom. They're like, is the door open? He's like, no, he won't let me in. Chris, they say the loo. The, no, the, the, they say the, he's the, sitting English on the shitty. English people say that. We're Irish. But, um, they're what like... What do you say? What do you call it? The toilet. 
<laughs> the toiler? The, the toilet. <laughs> no, but fucking, uh, Jack and Sean are like, where's Chris? He's like, in, he's in the bathroom. And they're like, is he in there by himself? And they're like, he's like, yeah, he won't let me in. And they're like, fuck's sake, right? And they use a coin to, like, unlock the door and they open it. I'm, like, sitting on the toilet with my pants down asleep and I'm like, <sighs> and they're like, fuck's sake. And then they try picking me up off the toilet <laughs> and shit sprays out of my ass. Oh my god. All over the floor. And what a the, night! And they throw me on the floor in my own shit, right? And then they drag me out of the bathroom, and then... Um... I wake up in the morning with my pants down around my ankles, covered in shit, and I'm like... <laughs> was I raped? Because <laughs> I, I don't know where I am. And then, <laughs> was I raped? I don't know where I am, I'm face down on a floor, my pants are down, and I'm like, like I'm not, I haven't realized I'm covered in shit yet. And I like, I like, I'm like, I was definitely raped. So I like, I sit up and I look around and I'm like, oh, thank god, I'm like in my room. Oh, he friends. dissolved in the brown sauce, thank god. <laughs> no, and I sit up and I'm really angry because I'm like, why the fuck am I on the floor? Where's my pants? And then I, I sit up and I go, what's happening? And my friend Jack just sat up and he went, Chris, sit the fuck down! And I'm like, okay, and I go back to sleep. And I wake up again and I'm like in so much pain because of my head. And I'm just like, what happened? And they're like, Chris, you were such an asshole last night. I'm like, what happened? And they're like, you got super drunk and you were like shouting and you puked everywhere and you shit all over the floor. I'm like, I don't believe you. <laughs> and they, they took out their phones and they showed me pictures of literally everything they and then, said. And then you went. <laughs> <laughs> no, I did not go half. He should have. <laughs> You are a real asshole. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> I went, oh no. <laughs> I delete. I made sure that well, you, you, you deleted them. <laughs> you deleted I felt them. I'm so embarrassed. But now I looking back on it, it's like the funniest shit ever. Chris. That's, that's a very embarrassing Chris, story. Chris, if you shouted out deleted and a giant cursor came in the room and broke through the window <laughs> and picked up your friend and dragged him to a recycling bin, yeah. how would you feel? I'd lol. I'd, I'd, uh, I'd empty him. Empty him? Into yeah. the recycling bin. Oh, I mean, I thought you meant, like, his bowels. <laughs> I, that's what I did. I you see, how do you feel? <laughs> Not so funny, is it? No, but, uh... Can I just end the story by saying I've never gotten that drunk since and I'm actually quite nice when I drink? <laughs> yeah, I, 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 you, you, you usually go out of your way to be like, Oh yeah, I don't want to drink too much. You, you've definitely learned your lesson, I think. <laughs> They're, they're, I think everyone reaches the point in being drunk where they go from being lovely to being kind of an asshole. I remember there was a trend where they were breaking their legs to stretch out their legs to be taller. That sounds like torture. I do recall my grandma told me that, so she might have lied to me. <laughs> <laughs> she also said never trust them. <laughs> I don't know what that was about. <laughs> she read these magazines. I don't, did I ever tell you about chat? No. My grandma used to buy these magazines called chat, and they were, they were always like, uh... Okay, I, I, this is this is good. Mm -hmm. This is a, a huge childhood memory and routine <laughs> where I'd go to my grandma's house and uh, I would I would pull her weekly chat out of her little magazine bin, and I'd read chat. But basically, chat was for old ladies, and it was it was written for old ladies. So you would open a story and it would be like shock factor ten out of ten or shock factor nine point eight <laughs> out of ten, and then it would like the story would always start with. Uh, I was having a nice cuppa with my boy. We were in the kitchen when suddenly I fell on my bottom. No, <laughs> <laughs> no it was a slightly more shocking than that. It was all you know, it, it truly was always shocking. It was always like I was having a lovely night in when suddenly my husband raped and killed our whole family with a butter knife. It was always that kind of shit, but they always well, started- How'd she write it then? Because my, my grandma just loved reading sadistic shit, like, <laughs> like, uh, like murder stories and stuff like that. But, uh, they always used the fucking word cuppa for a cup of tea. And it was in every single fucking story. It was always like, I was enjoying a nice cuppa with my nephew when suddenly my dog came in and <laughs> fucked me in front of him. It was terrible. <laughs> it was it, <laughs> the way they were I'm written. I'm glad I wrote about it, though. Every week as a kid, I, I read at least three stories <laughs> like that, and that's probably why I'm such a fucking idiot. <laughs> but it really that intense every time? I swear to God, one of them was literally just, I fucked my son, and now all my friends hate me. Oh, my God. Like, it was shock oh! factor. 10 out of 10! 10 out of 10 was very rare, by the way. And that was the one where she's like, I ha well, like, 
Me and my boy were never that close. We always enjoyed a nice cuppa, but we never did too much together. Anyway, one day I you was pushed me too far. <laughs> I, I was bending over, and he may have gotten a little, a little erection. Next he, thing we knew, he, we were fucking in his bed. And he was trapped in my bottom, <laughs> and I fell on it. <laughs> but it was always like that. It was always a nice cuppa. But uh, yeah, th those were the Whoops. good days of chat. <laughs> if anyone so out good. there in the world has a a huge collection of chat magazines from the nineties, scan them. I will pay you a lot of money for them. What? Well, I feel like that's something that happens with old people. They get more sadistic. They enjoy that shit. I just, it's just interesting reading about serial killers Did and murder stories. Did you read about Betty and what happened? <laughs> I can't believe he also enjoyed a nice cuppa. <laughs> I had a friend when I was younger that would walk Christmas into juice gives you wings. He would walk into uh, oh, Irish chippers because he was poor. What? And What's a chipper? Like a, like a fish and, chipper? No, a fish and chips. Oh, uh, okay. a chippery. A oh. takeaway. Chippery. Yeah. So he'd walk in and go, "Can I have a bag of batter?" Because they they would just have bags of batter like. They, they would scrape the oven of the batter to get rid of it, and then they would just put it into little bags, and he would just go in and ask for them and just eat batter. For free. Well, to be fair, when I was a kid, that's pretty much my favorite part of like anything, like fried chicken. No, when I was a kid, great, I would just eat the outside, the skin. I just leave the you meat. You know, to eat like connected the skin this is good, but batter on its own I was is fucking. Say, this is uncooked batter, is it? Or, or it is the crispy pieces. Of it's the batter. only the crispy pieces. Oh, I see. That's not that bad. It's fucking terrible. What are I you talking you were about? Describing like bags of raw batter. No, I'm Fuck talking. You. He would go in and eat massive bags of it. It's like the worst possible thing you could put in your body. Except for, well, uh, except, for, except for nothing. And crocodile. <laughs> oh yeah, if you don't eat, you die. <laughs> Ever tell you about my pet electric eel? Electric eel? You had a pet eel? Kind of. Do eels come in non-electric form? Yes, you twat. You get little cute know. black ones. I don't know. But one time my uncle came over. He's a great guy and all, but I don't think he understood what he did was wrong. But my uncle came over and he was like, Got your present, Chris. And it was just a fucking eel wrapped up in a jar of water. And I was just like... What is that? And he's like, it's an eel. He's like, make sure to feed it every day. And I was just like, what do, what do I do? I don't have a tank. And he was just like, oh, he'll be fine in there. And I was just like, in a jar? He put it in a jar. What the fuck, man? No, no, this is the thing. I, like, fucking Irish people just think animals are just like, oh, they're so stupid. They don't know. Just any poke better. some holes in it. It'll breathe. Yeah, and also, uh, there, there's a common misconception that fish and eels and stuff can't feel pain. Which is bullshit. Uh, any kind of animal. Yeah, no, they definitely pain. can. Yeah, so he, at the time, he just thought, like, oh, that, he's grand in there. He's happy. But then, like, literally, that day, uh, my mom and me brought him to a place called, the, I think it's called the slum. No, no, wait. You the, brought the, your eel out with you? You brought, it, you brought it to the slums and tossed it on a homeless wait, what man? What is that place called? <laughs> There's a place in Wexford that's pretty much just like a nasty place. There's like a pig farm next to it. We threw him into the fucking river, he swam away. Oh, okay, that's nice of you guys. Yeah. You should have just dropped better. him in a trough. We should have punched up him in a trough and drank him, yes. With the way transitions normally work in stories, you're like, yeah, it's a misconception that animal, that the fish can actually feel pain. So we took him out with us and, uh, yeah. <laughs> we we got, like, punched and stepped on him by a car. <laughs> he fucking screamed for we his were, life. We like, flung it around like a wacky noodle and hit it against <laughs> the wall. Yeah. Uh -huh. Well, that's nice of you, Chris. I missed that old guy. Didn't you say you had a good story about when you guys were in <laughs> college or when? <laughs> no, some, when he was in college. He was in college. Uh, so you know, he's just so my friend Jack is this big buff Irish guy. He's like he's been on the only plays, right? Yeah, yeah, but people don't really know what he looks like. He's like a, a fucking tank. He's he's the manliest man I've ever known. But when he went to college, he went to do some course, and like it was just like a. Like either a medical or an engineering course. It's something really normal, right? Mm -hmm. But he said that he was standing at his bus stop and a guy just came up like in a trench coat. He's like, hey, you like Pokemon? And he was like, yeah, I love Pokemon. And, like, <laughs> But he doesn't even like Pokemon that much. He just remembers just liking lied. Pokemon. Yeah, but then the guy gave him a fucking a memory stick with Pokemon Fire Red on it. And he, he said that he was doing that to everyone in his college. Just some fucking creepy guy was walking oh. around, giving people Pokemon Fire Red on a memory stick, and, he, and the whole college got addicted to it when exams were coming up. Wait, what, so what it was just is... like it was just like an emulator yeah. and a ROM of Pokemon Fire. Yeah, some Red. creepy fucking Irish guy was walking around. Was he like their age or was he yeah. like forty years old? No, he was, he, was, so... he was some creepy guy their age, but he was wearing a trench coat and he's taking <laughs> memory sticks of Pokemon Fire Red out he of his trench coat. Like a like hundred of those. <laughs> I know. And he was just giving it to people for free. Yep. Yeah. 
<laughs> what was his end game? I, I don't know. It's so would, fucking weird. I, he just wanted people Dude, to trade probably, Pokemon with. He probably accessed all his fucking webcams or something. That does not add up. There's something. <laughs> so there's like, it's so possible. Yeah, how do you know? Yeah, like, how do you know he didn't install a virus in the emulator? <laughs> that's, that's probably a good point. That I never is, thought that about that. That's most likely what happened if you really think he about it. He saw a bunch of coeds uh, uh, changing or something. <laughs> there was these kids that live near me. They used to have this. Well, they they all had airsofts, but they also they used to do this thing where they would uh, what do you call it when you boil a pot above water? When you boil a pot above water? Yeah, boiling water in a pot. I guess uh, it would just be called boiling, boiling water. Boiling water? It was a what? it was a black pot. A cauldron? Yes, they had. A, oh. They used to sit outside and and have a little bonfire and boil this cauldron, <laughs> and they'd pour all these steel like BBs into it. And then there was this woman who used to rock back and forth in her chair, and they'd just shoot at her with these, like, boiling hot BBs. <laughs> what the fuck? And then she died. That's terrible. That's the most Irish story Wouldn't I've ever heard. Wouldn't those BBs heard. already hurt without putting them in boiling water? You yeah, know, they, they like, shot it into her eyes, and she died. That's terrible. It just sounds like murder. <laughs> Are you making that up? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> I just want to see your reaction to it. <laughs> well, the idea of Irish children just like... I can't believe you believe that. <laughs> I'm sorry for trusting my friends. You should never trust me. Oh man, there's this castle I live near in Ireland called Johnstown Castle and they have a bunch of geese walking around. And the guy who manages the castle would go around with fucking hedge clippers and just cut their heads off because he hated them so that's, much. That's evil. Is that real? Nah. Uh -huh. <laughs> Wait, was the castle part real? Yeah, that's real. Okay. <laughs> Actually, but hearing about the geese made you make up a story about him cutting their heads uh, off? I like fucking lying, okay? Or was that just an old, like, story you used to tell when you were a kid, too? No, I just made it up. <laughs> okay. There is peacocks that walk around there, and they're really beautiful. And you did cut those off with hedge clippers. Yeah, he cut off their tails and their heads and their wings and their feet. <laughs> and then they looked just like a regular human woman. They looked like a football. <laughs> what? <laughs> Wait, what are you just talking a about? Regular human woman. <laughs> I don't know. You're talking about how they were beautiful. <laughs> they were beautiful. Have I ever told you I mean, that kind of did happen to me in real life? Where <laughs> there was, what? In what regard? Yeah, what, what aspect of that story? Oh, uh, the fact where some guy he, he like came into Wexford, this like Italian guy, and like he he like took over, like like he was just some random guy. That and, is so stupid. And everyone started like loving him, being like like he became a celebrity. Give me a cool Italian name. We'll call him that because I don't want to give him the real name. Yeah, go for Giuseppe. Okay, so Giuseppe moves into Wexford. He's an unknown guy, right? Well, this was in at least my parents' circle of friends, but this guy came in uh, and everyone's like, who is this guy? And he's like, I'm buying this restaurant. He bought a restaurant <laughs> and then I was like, wow, he bought the restaurant. He's amazing. And then he, he just started like going to everything, like be being the host of everything, every party. He was just there, right? And everyone's like, wow, he's such an interesting character. Where did he come from? He marries some women, like woman. Uh, he jumped into like... Do you remember when you visited Wexford, there was like this like shit river in the middle of town? Yes, I did remember that. He literally was like, if this football team wins, I'm going to jump in that river. And oh. then they, they won, he jumped in, he cut his leg open on a shopping trolley, he got a tetanus shot. <laughs> oh my, wait, he almost like had like a septic infection where he had like a wound with like shit inside of it? Yeah, and then uh, one day, my uncle told me this story where uh, he was hanging out <laughs> with my dad, my uncle, and then he was just like, Hey, Nemo. take a drink of this coffee, right? And Nemo. He's like, no, no, I don't want to do that. He's like, go on, take a drink. And my uncle took the lid off the coffee and he put his finger in it and it, it like scalded him. Like, and he's just like, ah, I, you, you got to me. Like, he pretty much was like, I'll get you another time. Oh my, he tried to burn yeah, this guy's Yeah, he's like, like this crazy fucking guy. And then eventually one guy was like, uh, you know, this guy's kind of like, he owes me a lot of money. And then he started going around asking everyone else being like, Hey, like, you guys know Giuseppe, like, <laughs> does he owe you money? And everyone's like, he owes me thousands of dollars. <laughs> Who the fuck is this guy? I this know, guy, he was crazy. This and guy then, just came over and took over a whole town. Yeah, and then w w once, like, the, the word got out that he owed everyone thousands of dollars, he literally just fucking bailed and no one ever heard from again. And he married a girl, like, he married a woman. And, and he, he just left he, her. And he left the wife? Yeah, it was fucking I wild. That. I love He probably, he, dude, this guy's probably been all over the world doing that.
Probably. Moves to every moves, moves to the country, jumps into the He was like rivers. getting like interviews on the radio and shit. Everyone's like, so who are you? you? <laughs> it was <laughs> fucking really? it was the weirdest shit ever. Like <laughs> That is like an episode of a TV show. It yeah. really is. A new guy moves into town and everyone loves him. <laughs> And then he gets a septic. It was literally his like Herman Temzeri and shit. It was like crazy. But yeah, wherever he is, I hope he's dead. Wherever you are, please let everyone know you're safe. We need to know you're okay. Ugh. These ice crystals, I don't get it. He really fucked up people though. Like, like, like he he left like a devastated family and shit. It was really sad. He left a big black hole. Pretty much. A big Giuseppe shaped hole. A big shaped hole. Hopefully, he got karma and come up and. It sounds like he did just by the fact that he got called out to begin with. Yeah, the guy who called him out was like a hero. I, I love that he jumped into a big s river and got a big cut on his leg. Dude, the, the river said, oh, is disgusting. Seppy, you're so septic. Yeah, yeah there's this place oh, in Wexford me. called the Crescent where it's just literally a bowl of shit. And he probably drank a little bit from it too when he jumped. I'm trying to think if there was any other Giuseppe stories that were funny. That Scully story is fucking scary because he's like a demon. He tried to trick somebody into burning them no, up. No, he was like an evil bastard. He sounds like it. But he's also charismatic enough to take over the whole town. I just That's what's scary about it, though. Is it kind of makes you think, like, oh, all these people around me are just fucking susceptible if, to getting Giuseppe. If, 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 <laughs> if, yeah, if Giuseppe had run for, like, public office, if he, like, ran for mayor of Wexford, do you think he would have won? I actually, I believe he tried. Really? I believe he tried, yeah. And he didn't win? Nah. Did he Who do won? okay? Did he do okay? I don't think so. It's me, Giuseppe. He kind of feels like a guy where he was like this big, fat, bald Italian man. <laughs> and it kind of feels like maybe like the nice Irish wax where people were like, wow, how exotic. But back yeah. in, in Italy, he was probably just some schlubby like shit. that nobody would fall like for reject, this shit. Yeah. Well, it's, it's like a big fish or a small fish in a... Sorry, a big fish in a small pond, I mean. Exactly. For people who don't know, in Ireland, there's your final exam of high school. High school is called the Leaving Cert. And you can get, uh, out of 600 points. That's the best you can do is 600. The best you can do is 600 points. And, uh, how many subjects do you do? Like, six or seven or eight? You can do, like, as many as you want, but, like, yeah, obviously the minimum is six, because you want to get 100 for, like, if you get an A in everything, you get 600, basically. Uh, I got fucking 350. <laughs> really? I should have failed. I do not know how I passed. 350 is pretty average. That's, yeah, it's pretty average, but... I, I fucking remember sitting down in Irish oral. Like, Irish oral is when you sit in a big room. Oh, yeah, you have to sit with some dude. No, 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 no. In our Irish oral, you sit down in a big room full of the other people, and you, they, you, yeah, you get handed out, like, pieces of paper, right? And they put a fucking radio on a table, and they push play, and you listen to Irish. Oh, yeah, yeah, where it's like, Yeah, and yeah, you, you like answer it. questions while listening to this Irish tape, so one of the questions on the thing will be like, What does Mary like to do? And it'll ask you that in Irish. <laughs> and then you'll have to listen to the tape, and then you'll have to write down the answer in Irish. What did you write? But that's the thing. For my Irish oral, I couldn't hear a single thing, because the fucking radio was like, Yeah, they used the fucking 1960s, like, signal, like radio transmitters from submarines and I was like I was like whispering to the people next to me, being like, "Can you can you fucking hear this?" And they're like, "Yeah, yeah." Wait, What's you, wrong? you had to like decipher it from from a radio and speak it in Irish, yeah. Like, translate. But the radio was a piece of shit, and it had only bass and no treble or mid, so it was literally. <laughs> and I was just like, w "I can't fucking hear it." And I was shitting my pants, so I literally was just writing down bullshit, <laughs> actual bullshit that made no sense, and I passed. Oh wait, well, you passed? I don't know how I passed. Yeah, you know. I should have failed. I don't know how I passed fucking Irish. They try to pass you. Uh, I think they do too, because I, I I think if you fail Irish, like, uh, if you fail one exam, you have to repeat the year, isn't that? Oh no, if you fail Irish, uh, English, or maths, you have to repeat yeah, the year. Yeah, you're fucked, no college will let you in. Yeah, which is fucking bullshit. Yeah, I think it's bullshit that you have to decide what you want to do for the rest of your life when you're like 17. Yeah, and like that 16. they don't let you do it if you fail fucking Irish, of all yeah. things. She is that bitch. But anyway, yeah, I don't know how I passed my fucking leave well, insert. When I think of useless language, Irish is on the fucking top of the list. Latin is second. Yeah, it is. Well, I mean, it's cool to keep it alive, but it's not cool to fucking fail your entire year over it. Spotty. I don't even remember any of it. I remember all of it, baby. Now, for the rest of the video, speak in Irish. Can I go to the bathroom, please? <laughs> oh. You get up and you run. Did you have that fucking cunt who rebelled against the system and they're just like not allowed to go to the toilet, but they just got up and went anyway? 
That was me. That was you? Yeah. Uh, that's okay. You, you brought down society as we know it now. I know, I thought I was making a fucking point there. But to be honest, you should let people go to the toilet when they want to go to the toilet. They do that in college. No one cares in college. We had a teacher who was really mean. He was our science teacher. And he was like, uh... He was super, super pompous and, uh, talked down to you, like, for getting stuff wrong and stuff. And one day, uh, the guy in my class who hated him the most, his name was Steven, but he was like, uh... I fucking hope your house burns down. And then his house burned down a month what? later. What? <laughs> Jesus Christ. Was he not a suspect? That would put him on the top yeah. of the fucking list. I know. But no, it, like, the teacher even admitted that he did it. He, like, uh, he got drunk. He was just a fucking drunkard. Did some scientific experiments in his house. <laughs> <laughs> my fucking... Just trying to get high mucks on my taste. <laughs> my first ever uh, science teacher, his name was... We called him The Bulge because his name was Bulger, but, like... Bulger. Yeah, he was the I nicest... I miss Bulger. She was the best fucking teacher. He was the nicest guy of all time. Mm. And we just drove him insane, and he never taught again after us. Did you ever go to summer camp as a kid? My mom and dad made me go to fucking... Hurling camp for the summer. What? Ever. That's the worst place that you would. That's like a nightmare for you. <laughs> I legitimately fucking hated it. What? Really? What? Do, hurling, for those who don't know, is a, an Irish sport where you hit a ball with a stick and everyone loves it. Over and the there. ball's called the Schlitter. It's called the Schlitter. And you have to put on a big helmet. And you hit it over a. Uh, you hit it over a fucking metal pipe. You want to know something fucked up? What? Like the guy who. Uh, who I used to go hurling training with, like, the guy who taught it was this, like, fucking 40-year-old complete asshole. The guy who fucking ran the camp, he was a fucking asshole, right? He, he was literally like, uh, All right, now you guys, make sure that when, like, he was teaching us how to, like, defend ourselves when another guy's running at you with a hurl. Yeah. Like, like and you know, when, when you clack hurls together? Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's like, make sure that you do this or you'll hurt your thumb or whatever, right? And it was my first time doing it, so I fucked it up, right? The other guy fucking, I swear to God, hit my thumb so hard, I, it, it was the worst pain I've ever felt in my life. So not only is it the worst fucking pain I've ever felt in my life, getting my thumb crushed in between two huge pieces of wood, right? The fucking Oh, your, your thumb was in the middle of the two pieces of wood yeah. while they were- They clacked! They clacked oh, these two- no. It's like clacking two baseball bats together. F and they slid up and crushed my thumb, so I went, ah! Like that, right? <laughs> and this fucking prick, looking at a fucking 11-year-old kid, goes, CHRIS! WHAT THE FUCK DID I TELL YOU?! CHRIS! And so I'm getting yelled at by this asshole. And, that, and I was just like, I went home. I fucking, uh... That night I was like, I don't, I'm not going back. No matter what you say, mom, I'm not going back. And then she made me go back. So the next day, why would she make you go back? Because she was just like, you don't do anything. You just sit on the computer all day. And I'm like, but I want to make cartoons, man. <laughs> but she's like, it doesn't matter. You're going back because you don't. I was literally a fat little kid, so I was like, she's make, trying to make get me do all these sports she's that I don't to do, do, exercise. do, which is completely fair. But I will say, hurling was the fucking worst one ever. But the next day I went back. Uh, I remember my friends. Or my mom's friend drove me to hurling that day because my mom was doing shit. But um, the second I got out of the car, there was like this like a uh, handrail that you can like uh, sit on or whatever. Yeah. But I just like grabbed it and I started doing these flips around it, like on my belly, like spinning around it over and over. I Wait, felt <laughs> that that's like insanely difficult to do. You were like swinging. Nah, no, 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 no. It's, it's not as cool as it sounds. I was literally just leaning on it with my belly and just, just like flipping around it. Okay. But uh, I fell off it instantly and landed on my neck. And I went, <gasps> like, like that. And then I was like, I can't do it really. <laughs> like I was trying to hurt myself so I wouldn't have to do it. And then my friend's mom, or my mom's friend drove me home. And mom was like, I know what you're up to. And yeah, I was like, you're trying to. Do you want to know the story of me buying my first PlayStation 1 game? It was my birthday. And my mom said, what do you want? And I said, uh, a PlayStation game. And she was like. Why were you like a little poor boy? <laughs> I don't know. And then, because like, I played a PlayStation at my friend's house, or he wasn't even my friend, he was my mom's friend's son who was like 18 and I was like fucking five or some shit. And uh, he was. Why can't I get the stupid thing? He was playing Grand Theft Auto. No, he wasn't. No, what Julian, was he? Go, go off to the left. Yeah. He was playing something, but when I went into the store, I was like, I watch a PlayStation game. Oh my god, that didn't get it. Can you jump a little bit higher? But, anyways, so I was in the store, right? Right? Yeah, you were in the store. And he came here to fuck. <laughs> right? <laughs> no, but I was like, I want the PlayStation game. And then the guy was like, Well, uh, Ray Rayman is the new game. And I was like, <laughs> the new game. And, and He's pretty fucking awesome. It was Extra Vision. And then, yeah, and he, I was like, What is Rayman? He was like, <laughs> I, I'm Why sh are you ill demon shot? <laughs> <laughs> he was like, I I'll show you Rayman. And he put on Rayman and he's like, See, you, you go here and you talk to this woman and she's like the fairy of the forest. And I was like, I'd love this cape. <laughs> <laughs> and I, I bought it. And then 
and then and then months later <laughs> I played it and I hated it. <laughs> <laughs> I got to the music level and I stopped playing it. I didn't know <laughs> Here's something that fucking pisses me off, right? One time when I was younger, I was really young. I was something like six or seven. I went to a party with my mom and dad, like at their friend's house. And uh, I was like, can I have some beer? And they're like, sure. Ha 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 ha. And they, they filled up a can with water, right? And they gave it to me. Except they gave me the wrong can. So they gave me a full can of beer. <laughs> and they didn't know, right? And I drank it all. And I was like... You were fucked up? No, no, I wasn't even fucked up. But I was just like... <laughs> like, I can't believe you guys let me drink beer. And they're like, ah ha ha. We didn't give you beer, you fucking idiot. We gave you water. And I'm like, but I, I drank it and I tasted beer. It was, it was definitely beer. And f to this day, they still make fucking fun of me for it. And I'm like, <laughs> I'm like, you fucking gave me beer. <laughs> they drank the water. Yeah, I don't know what they did with that other fucking can, but I definitely drank a full can of beer. It was Foster's. Uh, you know, something really lame. Yes. When I used to, my mom and dad used to make me do hurling in the morning sometimes, which is a really sh like. Well, I will say I hate it. I'm sure lots of people love it, but I I hate it more. Hit me? I hate it. Is hurling so much. a pretty Irish thing to do? It's the it's the Irish sport. What I is say. hurling? Reed it's kind of like it's like <laughs> hockey on a field, kind of like you have a ball and a hurl. But anyways, when I used to stand around, I used to just be like, huh, "If only I was at home playing video games." And but there was this one cool guy there who would always be like. Man, do you like Sonic? And I'd be like, I love Sonic. And then well, he would start talking to me, being like, Have you seen that new show where there's like a green Sonic and, and a purple Sonic? Sonic Underground. Oh my yeah, god, yeah. And he, Sonic he was like telling me all about it. He was like, Yeah, and he's got like spiky hair, the green guy, and he can play. He plays guitar. And I was like, That sounds so fucking deadly. And then, uh, like, I was like, I, I, like, I literally like thought of all these like cool Sonic stories in my head, like thinking about like green Sonic and purple Sonic. And I only saw it for the first time time like two years ago and it just shattered everything it is so it, bad it's like the worst show and ever every made every character is yeah. voiced by julia yeah, it's actually kind of funny i have a very spurgy memory of one time uh my my grandmother's brother Wait, no, i just went this way he visited from england and he was just this old british guy and he was in the car and we were driving him around showing him the sights of wexford how old was he like fucking 90 <laughs> and then uh he was just like he started singing a song or something here we go and then I said, my favorite song is the Beetlejuice theme song. And then he was just like, well, how does that go? And I just went, da, 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 And he was like, that's great. <laughs> are you in Lapland? Where are you? Lapland? Are you in Lapland? What is Lapland? Uh, that's where Santa lives. Lapland? In yeah. what? What? You've never heard of Lapland? Never my whole life. What, like, it, you, like you sit on his lap? No! <laughs> this is where Sand- that's where he's- Where? Live, from, he lives in the North was, Pole! Yeah, yeah, he's he Lapland! Lapland! Lapland. D okay, are you fucking with me? No! In Ireland, do what they is... actually call the North Pole Lapland? Yes! Really? What? As in what? From what? Derived from I what? I don't know, look it up. Does that give your phone on you? <laughs> Lapland? Look yeah. up Lapland and see where it derives from. L Lapland is an area in Finland. Yeah, that's where Santa lives. Santa lives in the North Pole. Uh, <laughs> Wait, Lapland Santa? Oh, maybe look at Look at Lapland Santa. This isn't real. It what is. Fuck? Oh my god, I gotta do that Ro whole fucking thing Ro again. Robot Amy is the official hometown of Santa Claus in Lapland. Uh huh. You what? can find many program service companies, souvenir shops. Wait, what? What is this? Wait, what? So, wait. Santa's like Scandinavian. Oh, oh, oh no! I, in I, I see what this is. What is it? This is literally a real place in in Finland or whatever, uh -huh. where they say it's it's like it looks like the North Pole. Oh, really? I think. <laughs> no, -uh. no way. It's real. Santa Claus Village. Yeah, it's like a village in Lapland. Mm. But I don't think he lived. <laughs> is that my whole childhood ruined? Do they say that he's from Finland in Ireland? No, they say he's from Lapland. I always thought Lapland was a place in the North Pole. <laughs> Fuck. It's a, it's, that's like saying Santa Claus lives in Missouri or something. <laughs> <laughs> I truly believe that my whole life. I am from Kansas City, Missouri. I know Santa's dead and all. I know he's not real. And he he's died dead. in 1982. I know he's mummified and has no eyes and his skin's black and he's backwards. And he's in a huge sarcophagus with uh, steam coming out of it. <laughs> <laughs> and it says, do that open in, in an ancient like, an ancient text, unreadable text. But I still thought he was from Lapland, regardless all of all that. All that considered. <laughs> I can't re I fucking can't believe that. 
There was a kid in my class who won a contest to go to Lapland and meet Santa. What? Yeah. Did he ever come back? No. Yeah, and he, he, he even said, uh... What, what, okay, this is really autistic. This is super autistic. I ripped the antenna off of a radio, <laughs> and I brought it into school, and I, I was like a cool little, like, sword. And, uh, he was like, can I bring that to Lapland with me? And I was like, no. <laughs> he what? wanted to show it to Santa? Yeah. Santa, look what I got. Or did he want to slay Santa? He uh, wanted to put that through Santa's eye. He wanted to sound Santa with my little antenna. I think he wanted to give Santa lashes, 50 lashes. <laughs> in Lapland. In Times Square. In Lap yeah, Times Lapland Square. Square. <laughs> <laughs> I fucking specifically remember that I used to hate Thomas the Tank Engine. And, uh, like, even as a kid, I was like, this is the most boring shit I've ever seen in my life. And then, uh, I, I just used to watch it because there was literally nothing else on. And my mom and dad saw me watching it, so they got me a bunch of Thomas the Tank oh Engine toys. Oh my god. Oh. I was like, oh. <laughs> I'm so sorry, Chris. Thank you. There's even- there's a video of me lying. <laughs> they got me a Thomas the Tank Engine, uh, jigsaw puzzle, and I said, This is just what I've always wanted. Oh. <laughs> That's, That's adorable. <laughs> that was very nice of you to lie for them. That was a great little liar. It turns out your parents really loved Thomas the Tank Engine. They wanted <laughs> my to dad wanted to play with it. <laughs> yeah, they were doing it on purpose because they knew you wouldn't use it. <laughs> my dad got plastic surgery to have his face look like uh, Henry from Thomas the Tank Engine. It like sticks out of his head and is gray now. <laughs> Chris, how come you hate creepy crawlies? I don't know. I'm scared of them. I like little beetles. They're fun. My sister ruined my life. <laughs> she turned me into like a just slug. Unrelated. I used to love bugs, and then she made me fucking terrified of them because of how terrified she was of them. Uh, What'd she do? She, she probably in, just freaked out. She every came time. in and she whispered in your ear, "Chris, they're coming to get you." <laughs> she. <laughs> there was a time when um we had like bricks outside of our house just because we had extra bricks left over. And my mom was like, move those bricks! And she- she casted a brick to bug spell on it. And no. that terrified you? No. I picked up a brick and there was a huge, a huge, huge black spider on it. And I was just like, cool! But she screamed so loud and she was so genuinely terrified that she almost had like a panic attack and it made me afraid of them. And this was back in- this was back before Ireland even had any like actual biting spiders. Now they do, for some reason. That always happens, that One bug got introduced and it bites, yeah. and before that, Ireland had no biting spiders. I, I slapped a kid in the face as a kid, too. He was asking for- he was being such an asshole. Do you want to hear the lamest situation in the world? Yeah. I used to get bullied by this kid on my school bus, and he was this tiny little asshole who, who could not fight. He was such a little pussy bitch, right? Okay. And I was a bigger pussy bitch because I was, like, way bigger than him and I wouldn't do anything, right? Okay. And, and we used to always sit near these girls, who were fucking bitches, and they were like, always making fun of us both. And then fucking one day, he was like really annoying me, and I was like, if you annoy me again, I'm gonna punch you in the face. He was like, eh, and he annoyed me, and I slapped him really hard in the face. And he started crying really hard in front of the girls. And just to them, it must have been the lamest situation in the world. The two dorks were just having a fight, one slapped the other and made each other cry. <laughs> that is very embarrassing. Oh, you know what? I have a f I ever tell you about the, uh, I found a website when I was very young and I was like, You sell a cloud strife keychain. Oh, daddy, can I buy this cloud strife keychain? He's like, no. And I was like, oh. I was like, can I use your credit card? No. And I was like, oh. And then I email. oh no, I didn't email them. I, I looked up the address of the company. It was in England, right? I put a few uh, Irish pounds into an envelope and I sent off a very nice letter that said, Hello, my name is Chris O'Neill. <laughs> I'm nine years old, and I really, really want the Cloud Strife keychain. Please, please, from the bottom of my heart, if you can send this, I would really appreciate it. Thank you. And they fucking did it. They sent really? it. Really? Yep. And I had it for years, and I lost it. Oh. oh. And actually, uh, in my first year and of high Sora school, some himself. kid, one oh, yeah. of my friends Sora's tried, dead, by the way. One of my friends in high school tried stealing it from me. Oh my they god. They tried breaking into my locker to get at it. Is that valuable, huh? Apparently. This but, music's um, beautiful. Yeah, no, the internet was a cool thing. My parents were like, Chris, we're getting the internet. And I was like eight years old. I'm like, what's <laughs> that do? It's like, you can go on it and look at stuff. Like, oh! And then they were like, you can even buy things off the internet. I was like, well, can I buy Final Fantasy VII toys? And they're like, no. <laughs> That's the one thing no. they don't have. And I was just like, then I don't want to use it. Did I tell you about my mom? 
today. What happened with your mom today? She on Facebook uh, posted. She she meant or she shared a thing that was about PizzaGate, and I I never in my life heard her talk about PizzaGate or anything like that. So I responded. I said, "Wow, mom, you're red pilled now." And then she said, "What does red pilled mean?" And I said, oh, never mind, you're blue pilled. And then, and then my uncle liked it. <laughs> he made fun of her. She doesn't know. He said, never mind, you're blue pilled. <laughs> yeah. just some poor Irish woman getting called red pilled and then blue pilled by her own family. By her own blood. Her own flesh and blood. Sorry, mom. I guess you'd rather shoot. Yeah, I, was was gonna good. Say, I was going to say, uh, my that mom. That's pretty savage. <laughs> my, my mom. Uh, she fucking uh, traded my Sega Genesis with a. So my, my mom had a friend. Her her friend had a son, and her friend went, "Murray, can, can I have Chris's Sega Genesis?" And she was like, "Uh, yeah. If you swap him there, something maybe." And then he was like, "I'll give him this for it." It was some fucking piece of shit Mighty Max toy. It was just like a toy worth ten dollars. She swapped my Sega Genesis for that. <laughs> what? And it was like permanently? Yes. She just gave it to this fucking asshole. Because I was getting a PS One uh, the next year. She's like, "I oh, doesn't need two. But fuck, mom! <laughs> fuck, she's she's stupid. stupid. She didn't understand the principle that like a, a Sega Genesis, a PlayStation couldn't play Sega Genesis games. No, she knew. She knows that. She just was just like, I. Who would ever need two games consoles? Oh uh, yeah. But like now that I'm an adult, I want all of them. <laughs> I want every <laughs> last one that ever existed. You pop. Uh, My mom to, used to say that. What? He's a daddy. Whenever people would steal from her store, she'd be boy. like, bunch of little pups. Yeah, she called me a little pup too, Chris. Did she say pup or pap? Like pap smear? She said a little fucking pap piece smear. of shit. <laughs> you little pap smear? <laughs> my mom did not do pap smears. My mom gave my Genesis away. I don't even remember my mom's birthday, let alone this fucking guy. <laughs> well, I only knew that because that was what the code A submarine was. in oil? You can't even see what you're doing down there, stupid. My mom so gave, gave away my Genesis. That sucks. I know. I, she did it behind my back. Yeah, she like traded it for a poly pocket to the neighbor. And <laughs> <laughs> it was a Mighty Max, yeah. <laughs> was it a worthwhile trade? You know, I, I'm not sure if I if I told the part where I, I met the guy. Be, uh, no, she tricked me. That was it. She, she was like, <laughs> "Wait, okay, this got a new layer to it." No, it, it was uh, the, that guy came over. He was like this 18 year old dude, and he had a big fucking smile on his face because he knew he was ripping me off. Oh my god! Fucking uh, horrible. She was like, "Chris, you, uh, we're, we're getting rid of your Genesis." Like, okay. Like, like, obviously I'm not, like, happy about it. <laughs> what are they giving you in return? Exactly, but she was like, but you're getting this, like, amazing fucking toy, Mighty Max. And I was like, wow, it sounds amazing. <laughs> and then, then... They, they had to hype it up or else you would have been disappointed. He came in with a fucking white plastic bag and he's just like, Hey, Chris, good to meet you. I'm, I'm, I'm glad, I'm glad we're making this trade. And it's like, obviously, he, like, he's a fucking asshole. He bought one or two Mighty Max things for, like, $20 and he got a fucking Genesis with every fucking game on it in return. So, that sucks. I know, what an really asshole. Really bad. I don't know who the fuck that guy even was. Well, Wait, where did if he it's any consolation, from? he probably think, got in a car wreck and died violently. I think he was the son of my mom's friend. Oh. I know. Weird. When I was like 10, when the Lord of the Rings 1 first came out, uh, the silversmith in my town of Wexford, he made these little silver Lord of the Rings rings. And uh, actually, there's still like a little statue in his window to this day, but it, there used to be a ring in its hand of a hobbit. But anyway, uh, I bought it, or I was like, Mom, can I please get it? It was only like a hundred, uh, it wasn't even that, it was like 50 pounds at the time, which is like a hundred dollars now. And, uh, she was like, no, you'll lose it. I'm like, I won't lose it. And then she got it for me, right? And then I lost it, right? And then, uh... <laughs> this is where the surprise happened. Yeah, no, right, I was like, lost it. I was like, it, it bummed me out for like years, because like, that was so fucking cool. And then, I think like two years ago, my mom was like, Oh, by the way, uh, I found that Lord of the Rings ring you bought there, and uh, uh, yeah, you, you, you can have that back now. And I'm like, what do you fucking mean you found Where'd you find it? She was like, oh, I, I took it off you because I thought you'd lose it. And I was just like, you fucking bitch! So the real reason you lost it was because your mom took it to prevent yeah, you from losing it? Yeah, but no, here's the, here's the real ending. I finally got it back, and then I really lost it. It's <laughs> actually fucking lost now. <laughs> I don't know where it is. Man, I remember the, one of the very first times I went on a porn spree when I was, like, pretty young. My mom and dad found a bunch of history. And Dude, they, they once were, you learn how to delete history, you're I didn't know going. about history. Like, like they fucking, like, either. kicked my feet out from underneath me. They're like, Chris, come into the kitchen, oh, right? No. And they, they- These stories make me fucking They cringe. sit me down and they're like, 
So we're, we're noticing some weird looking things in the history here, and oh, it, it was no. very vague. All of the websites weren't called like "man fucks woman." It was all like stuff like <laughs> it was just weird, vague words. I can't even remember. But they're, but they're like, Chris, if we click on this, it's not going to be anything bad, right? And I was just like, uh, no, no. <laughs> and then they were like, they they stopped and they paused for like five seconds. And it was my heart was pounding and sweating, and it's like. Okay, and I deleted it. No, they didn't even click on it. I was like, <gasps> like Oh my like, god. Why did they not click on it just to fuck with me? I don't understand. I would have done it. It's not starving or nothing, but there's a video tape of me somewhere at home where I'm like I'm like sitting on a chair pouting really hard and crying. And my mom's like, What's wrong with you, Chris? And I'm like <laughs> Daddy wouldn't buy me a super split. And I'm saying it like that. <laughs> and I'm crying. <laughs> and I just, well, I just keep saying it over. He wouldn't buy me a super split. <laughs> it's really funny. That is funny. I wish I could see that video. There's a video of my sister where she's holding a spoon up to my mom. She's like, Look at yourself in the mirror, Daddy. <laughs> Why did you both talk like idiots? I don't know, because it's like a children. It's like a bogger Irish accent. <laughs> I'm from the country. Do you want to hear a funny story about Jack Black and my dad, though? Really? <laughs> sure. You, you, you did on there something. History. When I was growing up, uh, one of my friends, he used to play these gigs in Wexford Town when he was like 16. So he he play guitar, and his brother would play drums. And then one time they came over to my house, at, like after school, and they were like. Chris, we're thinking about asking Jack Black to come to Wexford, and, and, and they're, they're saying this at the dinner table, and then my dad was just like, you, you think you're going to get Jack Black to come to Wexford, and they're like, yeah, he's like, Dah! and he's certainly laughing in their faces, and he's, my dad was just being so mean, he's like, you're fucking stupid if you think Jack Black can come to Wexford, and he just broke their heart, it was like the funniest thing in the world. <laughs> it, sounds like it, your, it sounds like your dad just really doesn't want Jack Black to come to Wexford. No, he was just being realistic. Well, that's interesting that you, like, that's what you'd call that. That's realistic, there were like 15 year old Irish fucking kids who were shitty guitar and drums, well, well at the time, now they're actually really good, but they were like, we're going to get Jack Black to come hang with us at, at the gig in Wexford, and my dad I was just laughing at them. <laughs> my dad, my dad could be just brutally honest. I tried getting my dad to play Left 4 Dead too, and he just kept laughing every time a zombie fell over. <laughs> oh, my dad used to actually, uh, he used, owl? To, he used to throw little pieces of bread outside at night and owls would fly down. Did he ever eat the owl? He grabbed it and he said, look, and he, he opened the ear. And you, you feeling you, that you rumble? Could, you could see the back of their eyeballs through their ears. Your dad really grabbed an owl and showed you its He used to his shove head. his index fingers as far into the ears as he could. <laughs> And they would go, oh, <laughs> oh. And we go, ah. <laughs> yeah, go look at it, Chris. Look at it. Look, you can see the back of its eyes. <laughs> Everyone says that the sock guy looks like my dad. <laughs> he does. <laughs> Tobin Bell. Yeah. He does look like your dad. My dad looks like him, except scary. <laughs> <laughs> Good morning, Chris! Ah! <laughs> so if you want to know how I look in the future. But that doesn't sound Irish, he's British. Oh, that's right. <laughs> Good morning, Chris. No. No! <laughs> My dad just sounds like... <laughs> Would you like to play a game? <laughs> hey. 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 I love Barbara Streisand. <laughs> Does he? <Yeah. laughs> how do I get out of here? I love Barbara Streisand. My dad is such a hero. You know what my dad did for me when I was a young boy? Was he holding out for a hero? No! Oh. How do I get out of here? I don't know. What did your dad do when you were a kid? He bought me a small squidgy ball to throw around. Did he smack you on the buttocks and go, ha <laughs> 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 Your dad's dead, would you ever just lighten up? <laughs> Chris, what would you do He's if He's never coming back, okay? What would you do if your father was murdered by the Yakuza? <laughs> I'd be like, why did you go to Wexford, you freaks? <laughs> he wasn't worth it. <laughs> he wasn't worth it! <laughs> and then you'd ask every single person in the world- Oh, that store car. is called Toon. Toon? Yeah, it was. I'm gonna beat the shit out of this guy. <laughs> he knows his place. No, thank you! <laughs> <laughs> if my dad got murdered by the Yakuza, I'd be very upset. I remember being on a boat going to England or coming back from England with my dad and Princess Diana had just died and I was too young to really understand what happened but he said Princess Diana died and I said Princess Diana died and he said yeah and I said oh Princess Diana 
And then he got really fucking mad at me. <laughs> we were just surrounded by people, and he, he looks so angry. This kite, this little midget guy, you know the way Van Helsing's, uh... There was the little minions in the movie. Person yeah. of short. One of those people just jumped in front of my dad, and my dad just slapped him in the face. <laughs> slapped him? Yeah, and then this, like, big black security guard came over and was like, Sir, you need to leave. My dad was like, I'll, I'll, okay, I understand. And then he's like, no, you have to leave the park. And my dad was like, oh, come on, I got scared. And he was just like, I don't care, you need to leave the park. But then he just, like, talked his way out of it. That was a good story. He said he got traumatized by midgets at one point. <laughs> I mean... It's a jump scare ride, and if someone gets right up in your face Listen, with a jump if scare- Listen, Freddy Fazbear jumped out at me! You just reminded me of my dad. Fine. When I was younger, my dad used to leave cookies out for mice in our kitchen, and the cookie- or the mouse Did he ever read the book? My mouse would run up and grab the cookie, and my dad would smack it on the head with a hammer. Your mouse? Aww. Yeah. You had a mouse? Yeah, I called him Hammerhead. Hammer pants? Because you took a hammer to his head? My dad did. Oh my god. I'll take a hammer to you. Said- you look, your, your fucking mouse keeps taking my cookie. Cookie. <laughs> he grabbed the hammer and bonked him. That's a, I like, I like he, the way your people speak. So what right? was he named before then? Uh, Normal Head. <laughs> Normal Head. <laughs> Normal Head the mouse. <laughs> my dad kept smacking him on the head, so he had to replace him every day with a new mouse, and he had to keep tricking me into thinking it was the same mouse. He's complete. He had to keep giving the mice plastic surgery to look the same. <laughs> Who's this? Can you imagine that? Little tiny mouse <laughs> plastic surgery? Yeah, my dad had to train the other two mice to be doctors for plastic surgery. They would oh. give him big boobies. No, we he can, never gave normal can, head big boobies. We can work at tutors. <laughs> mouse tutors. <laughs> Never tell you about the time me and my dad were waiting for my mom to get home, and this fucking little robin just flew into our kitchen. My dad grabbed a teacup and just threw it and fucking smashed <laughs> it against the wall. Oh my god, are you Wait, serious? Wait, caught the bird? No, he killed it. He killed it? Yeah, and then he got up, he started smashing it with more cups. <laughs> oh my god. I killed a bird Tensil once. It's not true. It's not true. Wait, why would you- He's like, hold on. Is that all will protect you, son. He went, burn, 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 When I was younger, when I was really young, like six, my dad's office used to just have, like, coins all over the floor. Because you just count money in there. Mm -hmm. So it's fucking littered with coins. So one day, I went in there and I stole all the coins off the floor. And, um, I went outside and I buried them. And then my dad came out, and I pretended like I was digging them up, and he's like, what's that? I'm like, I, I found buried money! And he's like, no, you didn't. <laughs> and I was like, I, I swear, a liar, I swear I, I found buried money! He just, he just let me away with it for some reason. He should have grabbed me by the hair and stuck my face down in the, the mud. He didn't have the patience to deal with your... Autism. Yeah. Exactly, he was throwing more coins on the ground. You wanna know what else something I did when I was younger? What? Murder. Died. It was church. <laughs> I was in church. Ghost. And when they were handing out that thing where you put the money in, yeah. I grabbed the coin and I, and I put my hand in and I took out my hand again without letting go of the coin and everyone saw me and I put it back in my pocket oh my <laughs> and, acted like I, and acted like I did. Chris, you're but going every, to hell. Uh, Everyone, Sorry, Chris. everyone clearly saw me doing it. Hi, right. What was the funniest prank you ever pulled? One time I, I pushed my father into a knife and he died. I never did any funny pranks, unfortunately. One time my dad was walking by me and I was a kid and I saw it in the cartoon where another character sticks out his leg and they trip over. Oh, I uh, remember doing that. I did that to my dad and he just tripped and looked and he went, yeah, What the just, fuck are you doing?! <laughs> they, people just get mad because you yeah. can get hurt. He, yeah. he tumbled on his knees and got back up and put his fists up. <laughs> what the fuck?! No, he literally just went, What the fuck are you doing?! And I was like, eh. <laughs> How old were you, Chris? Um, six, seven. <laughs> there was another time- that makes it- that makes it even funnier, you were so young, and yeah. you, you got that angry. There was another time where I was just lying face down on the floor, just like, doing nothing, and my dad walked into the room, and he went, Chris? And I didn't- I did- I just didn't look at him, and he went, Chris! Oh, I got him hiccuping, he went, Chris! Oh, I got him hiccuping from screaming! <laughs> Fuck! I needed to get this joke, sorry. He went, Chris! So fuck, I'm hiccuping every I'm time. Sorry, Chris. Fuck. Do it. Because <laughs> you went, Chris, why, right? why am I hiccuping every time I scream? He went, Chris! Oh, I got it. I can't went, not do it. We got it. What did he do? Uh, I, went, I looked around and went, What? <laughs> and he was like, What the fuck are you doing? I was like, I'm just lying here. <laughs> and I was really young. I was the biggest fan of The Simpsons. No, you weren't. I, I was, was a bigger fan than you, even. That's not true. Yeah, it you is. wanted to meet Bart Simps. Yeah. My dad promised dad, me he would. <laughs> and your dad dressed up as him. <laughs> Don't have a cow, it's me, Bart. <laughs> Don't happy, have a... <laughs> happy birthday, special man. Don't have a cow. 
<laughs> Fuck off. <laughs> he said, Bard, do a skateboard trick. <laughs> no, that's okay. I slipped the disc, I can't. <laughs> Chris, <laughs> if what if I, for your 15th birthday? <laughs> what, the, what the fuck is that? <laughs> what if for your 15th birthday, Bart Simpson came into your room and he went, Chris, help! It's me, your dad! <laughs> I've been turning to Bart Simpson again. Would he be 3D Bart or 2D Bart? <laughs> He's 3D Bart. Okay, I'd be more inclined to believe it. <laughs> My dad has a disease where he, his spinal cord is full of cement, and I don't know why. Did I ever tell you guys about the time when my we were having a party at my house in Ireland? And all of my family was there, like all my little cousins and stuff, when they were really small children. <laughs> my dad got really drunk. <laughs> and he was grabbing balloons and giving it to them and then popping them. Oh my god. <laughs> oh no. He was popping them in their face. That's evil. <laughs> it was, no, he was really drunk. It was funny. Well, I guess it's turned around. <laughs> it was Would you funniest. explain that to the kids? I'm sure they were laughing. <laughs> no, but you don't know my dad. <laughs> it's okay. He's drunk. It's funny because my dad is like the <laughs> it's nicest. It's actually a really funny story. <laughs> Story. My you dad. see, he's intoxicated. My dad is the nicest, sweetest, like, shyest, like, guy ever. He's such a good guy, and he was just doing that. It's the funniest shit. Did he punch out a guy on a ride because he got scared of him? Yeah, it was on the Van Helsing. <laughs> and the little midget ran up to him, and my dad got scared and slapped him. Slapped him. My dad's a good guy. <laughs> you're painting my dad like he's a bad. He's like the, the you greatest just told guy. the story. I didn't even come I know, up but with that one. I what? believe he's a good guy if he's willing to dress up as Bart Simpson for his son. Yeah. You know what? He was vanquishing. He the didn't evil fucking monsters. do that. You I made know. That, <laughs> that was a joke. <laughs> Chris, this all happened. Julian, your acting's getting too good. <laughs> Did you guys ever think cartoons were real people? Never. Not even for a moment. No, not even when you were really young? Yeah, yeah, when I was young, yeah, definitely, yeah, definitely I did. I, I used to think video games were real more than cartoons, though. I don't think I ever thought cartoons were real. I don't know if I ever, like, uh. truly believed they were real, I just kind of, like, hoped. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. I thought they were real until I was, like, six or seven. My dad told me they were real, he, he purposefully taught me that they were real. <laughs> Go over how that works? Like, you thought Spongebob was, like, fucking kicking around and- Spongebob wasn't out yet. He, he told me the Simpsons were real, and I said, can we visit them? And he said, yes, like, like, after a while. And then I waited months. <laughs> and I was like, Dad, can we, can we go visit them now? And he was like, no, they're not real. And I was like, what? What do you mean? <laughs> he, he lied. Like he told me they were real, like Santa Claus, and I believed it. The greatest scam of all time. Is this true at all? Is this, this is one hundred percent true. I swear. I swear. <laughs> you were waiting for weeks to meet the Simpsons. Months. Months, Months. Months to meet the yeah. Simpsons. Who who did you would have talked to the most of the Simpsons? Bart. I wanted to have skateboard and stuff. So what? You? Oh, uh, you big fucking bitch. That's it. <laughs> yeah, Ooh, I wanted to meet Bart. Worm. I wanted to hang out with Homer, he seemed cool. I wanted to pet Santa's little helper. So wait, how excited were you for this, and how often did you, like, bring it up? No, it I was very excited, but I brought it up, like, uh, twice. The first time, I was like, like, Dad, are, Simpsons, are the Simpsons real? I was like, yeah. The, the, he said something like, they're really nice. And I was like, you know them? Like, yeah, I know them. And then, like, can we visit them? <laughs> yeah, we can visit them. Just, just, like, wait a while. How often did you think about that, though? Not even how often did you bring it, but how often did you, like, think about the fact that the Simpsons... That must have changed your whole life. I remember my dad laughing really hard at these emotions. <laughs> 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 he thought it was the funniest shit ever. Is it because he was a Irish simpleton? No! <laughs> He's a very clever man. Ah! He said to himself, look at this technology. Ho oh, ho! Funny little rat. <laughs> That's pretty much it. I am but a funny kind of coot. I've never seen a rat like that in real life. Aha! My son! <laughs> my son! You've done He's, it. He was very proud of you. <laughs> oh, my son. You've discovered the blue stand rat. <laughs> <laughs> you truly are an O'Neill. So this is, uh, this is the tricky ground. This is the blue one. Do you have any ancestors that did any amazing things? Do you have any uh, ants? My, one of my ancestors is a guy called Owen Rowe O'Neill. And he had a castle. And then he got invaded and killed and fucking raped. That's are you making- is this- <laughs> I don't think that's real. It's real! It you're is. talking about Genesis Valentine. No, I'm not! My friend Steve can do a perfect Donald impression. My dad can do a pretty good one, too. Hello? Yo, Dad? Good day. how's it going? Hey, Dad. Are you alright? I'm good. Can you just do me a, a favor? Sure, you can, sir. Can you do- right? can you do me your impression of Donald Duck real quick? <laughs> <laughs> Thank you.
Thanks, Dad. I legitimately thought that Harry Potter was real up until I was 27. You, did you make plans to meet him? Yeah, my dad dressed up as him. <laughs> <laughs> I feel bad for your dad that he keeps having to yeah, why dress he... up as like fictional teenage boys. Uh, you're you're a handful. He has to do this for you so often. When uh when I put him in a recent episode when he was doing an impression of Donald Duck, he was very very happy to read all the nice comments. Oh, I hope your fans were happy with him. They you should dress up they as didn't Bart Simpson, send him Father O'Neill. Creepy messages. They were very nice to him. I appreciate that. One of the funniest things I ever saw was I was out with my dad. We were walking in a cave, and one of these stalactites fell off the roof and planted itself in a baby. Oh my god! And the baby went. <laughs> and my dad yanked out the icicle, and the baby was saved. Thank goodness. The shining light was emitted from its head. <laughs> yeah, it was like a Kingdom Hearts scene. <laughs> it went all silent when... <laughs> <laughs> and it said, obtained baby thoughts. <laughs> when my dad yawns, he goes... Aah! And he does it really, really well, too. My dad has a friend called Dermot, and he calls him Doormat. It's kind of mean. Yeah, I'm sure that, I'm sure that does wonders for him. <laughs> Chris, did anybody <laughs> pop it all at once? Did anything ever scare you when you were a kid that you were watching TV so you you would like run out of the room? Not run out. I, I, the only time I ever did that was with Final Fantasy VII. It was at the beginning of the game when the uh, when the timer was going off. Right before the city exploded, I turned off the PlayStation and ran out crying. <laughs> oh! <laughs> I didn't play it again for a few years. It's adorable. I was very scared. My dad felt really scammed when he bought that game. Why? So we went to Dublin for my birthday, and I bought a bunch of Tasmania stuff, because I was obsessed with Taz at the time. And my dad went into a game store, and he's like, What's a good game to buy now? And the guy was just like, Oh, Final Fantasy VII, it's the best thing ever! My dad put it in for like, an hour, and then he stood up and went, This is fucking shit! And he walked out, and he left it there. Then I played it, and that was right when that happened, and I turned it off. It's adorable. Why did he hate it? Because he didn't like the stupid anime aesthetic, or reading, or didn't like fighting. Reading. He likes playing poker. I want to fly right to my house in Ireland and look in at my mommy and daddy and see if mommy's still doing the dishes and thinking about me. Let's do it. They're just f***ing <laughs> all day, dude. I hate to crack this to you. Mom, don't listen to Lyle. I, I swear he's nice. Just have him, you need to beat him first to get him. It's true. Chris's mom, call me. <laughs> don't do that. <laughs> You'd be nice. Okay. I, I, I'd, I'd treat your mom right. You're just getting worse. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want you to be my daddy. Well. Oh, no. Since when did you have a choice in this? Because my daddy's still here. Oh, okay. He protects me with his big hairy knuckles. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> so this is really Ireland, huh? This is the real Ireland. Does this look like it? Uh, Do you recognize this place? It, it's, 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 it's the place of your birth, Chris. Wow, dude. That looks like Ireland, dude. I really must admit. I want to go to Wexford. Where's Wexford? Tomer, look, that's Dublin. That's Dublin. Let's fly closer. It sucks up being this high. <laughs> oh, shit. You're going to cause an Irish 9-11, Chris. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to do that. Oh, yeah, I recognize this fucking motorway. Wait, are you in Wexford? No, this uh. is on the road to Wexford. So you know where you are? Yeah. So, you can find your own house, in theory. Yeah, I'm gonna try to do that. You're gonna dox yourself in Flight Simulator. <laughs> oh, he's gonna dox his parents in Flight Simulator. That's true. Yeah, they can handle it. <laughs> Jeez. They deserve it. Dude, the last time I saw Google Maps, Wexford was like a JPEG. It's really bad. I wonder if Wexford's still gonna look like shit. I didn't know there were so many airstrips in Wexford. I had no fucking idea. Well, I mean, they're putting in shit like some guy's farm, so... <laughs> You're right. I don't think that was even official. They're just like fields that you could probably crash in. Oh man, we're coming up on Wexford. I can't wait. Oh, you can't wait to see Wexford. You finally are gonna see your home. What are you gonna do? Get out of my way, you flappy bastards. Oh, I just want to see mommy and daddy. This is what it looks like, apparently. Mmm, I'll be the judge of that. All right, so that's, West that's Wexford Town. There was a great river before freakishly large Irishman Chris O'Neill was born. 
He drank the whole thing. I surely fucking did. There's the bridge. That's it. Do you We've recognize it? it? That's it. And then the, is this your hometown right across this bridge? Dude, we're flying right over the fucking swimming club where I fucking pissed myself. <laughs> I mean, shit myself. Yeah, that's the bridge. Wow, look at that. That's actually pretty cool. Is it accurate? There's the crescent. Yeah, kinda. Let's. I mean, it looks a little different. I'm gonna. There's definitely not that much fucking trees around. That's for sure. Find more landmarks oh, where you Oh, definitely don't make yourself. a stall. We, well, <laughs> don't make a stall. You can't blame me if we stall. You're the <laughs> one steering. I mean, I'm doing a good job, I think. Dude, that's the world famous Wexford Creamery, dude. Whoa. Dude, you can make milk the... and stuff in there. And the whoa, there's a car like bouncing around there. Did you see that? And I pissed myself there. There's a big dirty fucking nothing right there. I don't recognize that at all. The dirty nothing patch in Wexford. Where's that fucking haunted house? You think you can crash into it and kill the ghosts? Oh my god, I wonder is the haunted house there? Alright, let's see the haunted house and crash into it. Yeah, let's fucking kill that ghost once and for all. Or was it an angel? Something- you said something like flew through the fucking ceiling? It was the devil! The devil? You saw okay. the devil fly through the ceiling? Well, I didn't, but some- someone did. Now when it did, did it go ooga booga booga? The legend is, is that, uh, there was a bunch of people playing cards in the house that lived there, and then they got a knock on the door during a storm. They opened it, and the guy was like, May I come in and play cards? And they were like, uh, okay, I guess. And then they went in and started playing, and then, uh, the guy dropped his cards because he's stupid, and then the maid bent down to pick it up, and she saw, What would you- would you believe it? Cloven hooves? Yes! <laughs> And then he flew up through the window, and everyone started laughing. <laughs> <laughs> Do you want to go to Bali Balu? I would absolutely fucking love that. <laughs> sorry, oh. <laughs> sorry, residential people. Try to Ooh. take one of their fucking uh, chimneys off. This is crazy. That way, Irish Santa can't Whoa. visit their house. They won't get any more presents. This is a lot of fun, honestly. Boy, <laughs> oh, you. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I keep getting little mini heart attacks. No, it's fine. I'm Don't a good pilot. Don't be scared of trees. A plane is mightier than the Whoa, tree. Oh shit! I almost hit that. I one. think those trees are planes. I don't think they have a third dimension. Wee. Try flying through the forest. You think that, in, I, into one of those? That buildings. doesn't sound like a thing a pilot should do. No, though. a good one would be able to do it. <laughs> a good one. Okay, let's see. Oh. I told you. Oh yeah, there's oh! like there's like no cr <laughs> You're, you have like no crash mode turned on. Wait, really? You probably can just no clips through those buildings. Yep. Whoa! I bonked into it. You have learned might like no other. Boing. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, it's still going. You just bounced off the ground like it was a fucking. Oh, this changes everything. This is way more fun. Yeah, you're mighty. We Tomar keep his fucking thrusters to a million. This is kind of a big plane. Uh oh. Perfect, you're home. That's my house. <laughs> so that's where I live.